man, man, you know, it's great to come back from class and just look at my phone and see all this news right out in front of me. Yeah, you know, normally it's like one thing happens and I always report on it, but wow, this was a, this was a productive morning. We have lots to go over. Lots. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. What is poppin' y'all? It is your man Clawboy Bales. Welcome to another episode of Wisco Sports. Just like that, tampering has officially started, and just like that, we are one day away from free agency. However, the news keeps on coming. We're already seeing deals be handed out by different teams. Like, you know, you know, people are re-signing people, people are cutting people. It's 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 pretty epic as of right now. Um I mean, this is the most epic week in sports. One, because of free agency. Two, March Madness starts this week. I got my bracket out. I'll become, I will be, I, I have it printed. So, like, I, I obviously, what, that's going to make the video ten times easier because I already have my picks and I'm already, you know, like, going to tell you what I picked and all because I'm smart enough to know that. But regardless, um, I am so thrilled, you know, with everything that's happened with the Packers, you know, for the last couple years. So knowing that this free agency could be very troubling, I understand it, you know, there might be some things to move on from. The news of Tom Brady also coming back into the league has really shooken things up, because now a lot of people are actually doubting that Rodgers is actually going to come back to Green Bay, like even though he said he was, now a lot of people are like doubting it. So, because, I don't know why, it would be stupid, but... I feel like there's no possibility on places for him to go at this point. Another, so anyways, before I get on to some of the big news, you know, um, subscribe below for more thoughts and more updates, and of course, you know, share my page as well. Um, first off, let's talk about Devontae Adams. So, of course, the news came out that he was franchise tagged. As expected, however, he announced to the team today that he didn't want to be part of the franchise tag. And that was obviously something that wasn't really surprising because, one, he is the best wide receiver, you know. I mean, we all know that. I mean, he's he's something else. He's something else for sure. Um, but he announced that he wants to be paid, you know, like, I think a lot of people know that because, you know, he informed, so here's the, here's the deal. He said, he is informed the Packers he will not play on this franchise tag. The two sides are remaining far apart on a deal, according to Ian Rapport. The relationship is not in a good place and is boiling over. He can negotiate with other teams in free agency since he's under the non-exclusive tag. This is highly unlikely, however. Um, so, of course, if we, if Adams was to come back on a long-term deal, it would likely be, um, it would likely be, we wouldn't see a deal and probably till maybe the summer because it just, you know, it's, Adams deserves to be the highest paid receiver and based on how he's played for the past couple of years, um, and this, this move doesn't surprise me. If you want to extend him, you got to do it, Packers. I mean, that that's the thing you got to do. Um, I know if Rodgers wants to come back, you got to bring back Adams. You need his number one weapon, you know? I feel like he is, gives a lot of credit to Rodgers, and Rodgers gives a lot of credit to him. He's one of the best wide receivers, and I think he is the best wide receiver in football right now. Um, there's, no, there's no doubt in my mind that a guy that just catches almost everything deserves it. I mean... The chemistry between these two guys is just insane. So, it'd be insane if, you know, I'd be like, if if Adams went to another team and played with another team, I'd be like, okay, fine. You know what? Like, go for it. Like, I'm not going to be upset about this. Um, because the thing is, um, even if, you know, 
Adams kept getting targeted, so you know he's gonna get targeted wherever he goes. I mean, he's the best route runner. We all know that. So, anyways, some other news that unfortunately had to unravel was the Packers had to actually release some players that were key players the past couple of years. Both signed back in twenty. Um, both signed back in twenty nineteen. The Packers have released. Zedarius Smith and Billy Turner. This move frees 19.4 million. Um, of course, uh, thanks for everything. Um, this move does not surprise me, especially the Zedarius Smith one. Um, I even said, you know, all year, this is it for him. He's not coming back. There's no way we're going to re sign him. And, like, there's no way. I, I just. I knew from the start there was no way, and after how I saw the defense play without him all year, I was like, we really don't need him. I mean, it, it just says everything. Like, we're good. I think we're good with Rashawn Gary and Preston Smith. I think we're good with the guys that we have. I mean, yes, we could draft definitely another guy, but this make move makes sense. The Billy Turner move is, even though he struggled in his first year at Green Bay, he's definitely not the greatest, but he has definitely done things for us that have been really good. And, you know, I really want to, and he's a leader, like, that's why the team loves him, but it, it, it's a, it's a sucky move, um, but, um, that, you know, it is what it is, I'm gonna just, uh, let go of everything at this point, but we're just gonna, I think, move on from it, you know, um, but this sucks. We saw this move coming. Um, and the one about Billy Turner was a possibility. But I'm just going to say, let's move on from this. And, you know, the thing was, the Packers were focusing on offensive linemen at senior day and the combine and all this stuff. So that does say they will probably go for an offensive lineman somewhere in the draft. Specifically, maybe a guard or a tackle. But I think, you know, because they want to be, they want depth at their line. Because they already, they, they cut him. Lucas Patrick will probably sign somewhere else. Eldon Jenkins will probably miss a huge portion of the season due to his injury. So it's pretty much said you got to focus on getting some linemen for yourself. Um, that's a huge, huge deal. I'm obviously going to get to videos on that in the means. But also another deal. Packers decided to sign somebody and re-sign Preston Smith to a four-year, $52.5 million deal. Dollar extension, obviously. Great move. Let's go! So, um, um, yeah, the signature. <laughs> but it, you know, it, one Smith leaves, one Smith returns. Um, it's great to see Preston Smith back. He actually had a very good season last year, and being one of the best, Pat, him and Gary are were a really dominant pass rushing um, duo, and I'm really excited to see what these two bring for this defense once again. Um, they did really well, and I'm really excited to see how they do. Um, Preston Smith, you know, first year did really great. Second year, I think he was dealing with injuries, so he wasn't as good. And then this, this year, he really stepped up when it mattered. So I'm really happy to see him stick around for probably the rest of his career. I'll say this deal goes for the rest of his career. Um, but that's a good deal. Um, happy about that. Um, let's see how this defense does. Um, I'm really excited to see how they do. Um, um, and then there's not much other news, but um, the good news is um, the Packers are also expected to bring back Razul Douglas. There isn't any confirmation on that, but it's expected to be at least one year. So it's good. It's some good news because originally a lot of people were thinking he was done and he was gone for because they were going to extend Jair. But these moves definitely shape up what's going to happen for the future of the Packers and this free agency. Getting Preston Smith back on a not the biggest, most expensive deal is a great thing. Cutting to Darius Smith and Billy Turner were things that had to happen. It's part of business. Of course, having Rodgers back and hopefully being able to sign Adams to an extension as well. Uh, well sign Adams to a deal, let's be per se. Also, Jair Alexander to an extension and hopefully getting back Devondre Campbell is going to be huge things for this free agency. I think the Packers know this and 
it's going to be a wild one, but I'm really excited to see what things happen. Also, um, you gotta go and you just gotta do what you gotta do. Obviously, after things of free agency ravel, I think it will be pretty obvious on what our draft needs are, and I'll be talking about that as of shortly. And pretty soon, I'll be coming out with my bracket video, so please stay tuned for that. Um, and of course, also other good news, Brook Lopez has finally been cleared and he will be playing tonight. So that's some great news on the Bucks front. Um, they definitely need him at the def because the defense is needed for him. So that's some great news in case you want to hear some great news. Um, and of course, spring training games will start on the 18th for the Brewers. So we're really excited for what's going on with that. So anyways, more free agency news is to come as expected, but of course, for more updates, keep subscribed to me, and of course, I'll be back with more updates. So anyways, it's your man Club with Bells. Stay safe and be smart. Of course, it's snowing out today up in Eau Claire right now, so I'm just, I'm just dealing, I'm just, it's just what is it, what is it, I guess. Go Pack Go, we will see you.